What's up Bafflers? James Earth here. Today we're going to look at the Retop M2 to SATA free converter. If you have an M2 um, hard drive, if you have an M2 SSD that is, and you want to use it into a computer that only supports SATA free, then this is exactly the adapter that you need. And it also comes with a handy little screwdriver. So, oh, that's a few, <laughs> that wasn't intentional, that just happened. Uh, yeah, so we have a circuit board right here with a plate that goes on the top. So I guess you kind of screw this together. I see. So this is the computer that I'm going to be working on. Let's go ahead and take that off. And as you can see, we have an M2 SSD right here. Now, obviously in this scenario, I don't really need the converter, but this computer is just handy just to have in the video. So this is an M2 SSD, so that's all size. Um, so I think all you have to do is dock it into here. Oh, wait a minute. We might have to remove this screw from here first. There we go. Move the screw from here first. So that you do give you a screw there as well. And we're just going to place the SS M2 SSD into here. Uh, there we go. It'll just do a little bit of a click. But the screw, I'm going to do the screw bit around here because I'm going to drop it so I can just guess. <laughs> and we just do up the screw right here. So now our M2 SSD is now in our circuit board right here. So I give you a little bit of a spacer as well. I'm not quite sure what that's for. Maybe you might want a spacer but that seems to work out right for me. So lastly, what we need to do is, so they give you some absolutely tiny little screws, like <laughs> properly small screws. Look how tiny these things are. I don't even know if you can see them in the camera. Can you see the screws? Hopefully you can. They're blooming small, so I'm gonna be careful not to lose them. <laughs> okay, so place the, the little plate at the top here and I think there's like a, as you can see, there's a bit of a sort of film here that you can peel off if you like. Uh, I'm going to concentrate on getting the screws on though first. So there's six of them here. So I don't know if it includes mounting screws to your computer or if it's just for putting this kit together. I think it's already got the holes in the film, so we should need to remove the film first. Yep. At least they have given you this tiny screwdriver. I don't know if you can really see. Look how small those screws are. They're so tiny. So, yeah, it's a good job they did give you a screwdriver. Otherwise, you might not have a screwdriver that's actually small enough. Nah. Yeah, we do have centre ones as well. So We have six screws in total, yeah. So it's, it doesn't include mounting screws, or seven screws, actually. It doesn't include mounting screws. So obviously you will need more screws if you want to put it into your computer. Sometimes your motherboard, PC, whatever, includes those sorts of screws anyway. Put this screw in here. At least this seems like a nice permanent solution. It's not like something you just put in some flimsy adapter and uh, hope it will work. Like this seems like it's a thing you can keep in your computer and actually be satisfied that the M2 SSD drive is going to be protected. And there we go. We have our converter. So I think the final step would be to peel off this film. Hmm. Not sure if it is. I'm not sure if it is actually. I guess you do have to peel it off, but it's, <laughs> it's not really an edge to peel. Do, 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 do. I might have actually stuck the film in with the screws. Do you know what? I think I might just leave the film in here for now. I know it's really annoying, but quite frankly, I can't actually get the film off. <laughs> it's stuck on like anything. It's not really easy to peel. So, uh, well, it's not important. It's not. It's not going to get in the way of the thing. There's that. There's an actual screw here. So I don't know where that goes. Unless it's just a spare one. I'll see six screws there, is there not one? Yeah, they're probably just giving you a spare screw, I guess. Mm, yeah, I can't see anywhere else that would a screw go, so. 
and put these two pieces to one side and we'll get our <laughs> I know it's really annoying I can't get the film off but we'll have to make do with it for now we're not going to see it anyway because it's going to go in this way around so yeah just get your computer and slide it into the slot like so perfect so now our M2 SSD is now mounted into our 2.5 inch SATA free converter and there was a screw on this computer but I've taken all the screws out in advance but there was supposed to be a screw to hold it into place as well a little bracket but that's the basic idea of it so let's test it out So the M2 to 2.5 SATA free converter actually works really well. It's simple, provides all the screws and a handy little screwdriver and does the trick. I still haven't managed to get the film off. That's a minor inconvenience. The fact that it works just as planned deserves a baffle rating of five stars. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. For anything else, don't forget to subscribe and ding so you don't miss a thing. Don't forget to follow me at Baffle Channel. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Thanks for watching and have a baffling day. Mm -hmm.